Hey everybody, this is Jessica from My Nell Addiction on Instagram. I wanted to do another tutorial for you today. This time it's a blue vintage floral design that has a gradient underneath. I think you'll enjoy it. The polish colors I used are Unforgettable Moments in Glazed Pearl, Brash in Blue Dream, uh, Sinful Colors in Cinderella, blue and green acrylic paints, and then some paintbrushes, whichever ones you're comfortable with. I already have my base coat on all of my nails, so now I only have to add one coat of my base color, which is the glazed pearl. And then, when that is dry, I will do your typical sponge gradient with the blues and the uh, champagne color to make it faded from the champagne color to the darker blue. So yeah, it seems to look good, don't you think? Now I'm going to clean up around my cuticles just a little bit so that when I'm adding my top coat, the polish isn't all over my fingers already. Then after that, I'm going to wait for it to dry. The, adding the top coat now helps that gradient level dry. And then when I'm adding the acrylic paint, I have a nice flat surface to work with. One of my viewers asked me about how I mix my acrylic paints. Well, here it is. I buy the cheap acrylic paint, and before using it, I add like a drip of water and stir it in really well because I like the paint to flow off my brush, not stick to my brush. So as you see, I'm mixing it up, getting it a real good consistency. Let's see how that blue looks. It looks good to me, pretty good consistency. And I'm also going to take some greens, and I'll put those together. I want to mix these two colors. So I'm loading both of the greens onto my brush to create the leaf the part of the design and I'm just making it into like a teardrop two leaves per nail one to two leaves per nail doesn't have to be perfect I just kinda want a swirl of colors
So now I'm just adding some dots to accent the little vintage flowers on the tips of my nail. And they're not perfect, kind of flowing from one side to the other across, uh, well not across, but above the flowers. I also thought the leaves needed a little bit more oomph, so I took the darker green and a really small liner brush and I'm just outlining them just a bit. And here you go, a blue vintage flower mini with a gradient base. So as always, before I'm done, I will clean up around my cuticles with polish remover and a flat brush and then add a top coat to seal in my design. Thank you for watching everyone and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any comments or suggestions, make sure you leave them in the comment box below. And also, if you really think this design would look amazing with different colors, I also want to know that. Leave that in the comments below. If you liked this video, leave me a thumbs up. Oh, by the way, before I forget, I found a tutorial on YouTube for heatless headband curls, and last night I did them, and I am amazed with how they came out. So I'm going to add the link to the tutorial in my description box below. So if you're interested and you want to try it out, go ahead and check that out.